The problem with Washington politicians is they have no skin in the game. It's time for we the people to take our country back. I'm Eli Crane, and I approve this message. That was now freshman Arizona congressman elect Eli Crane, one of the 20 far right Republican members of Congress who've spent three days this week preventing Republican leader Kevin McCarthy from becoming Speaker of the House and in turn from seating the 118th Congress. You may be familiar with Congressman elect Crane because of his appearance on the reality TV show Shark Tank. Mr. Crane founded a business that sells things like hollowed out 50 caliber bullets that have been made into bottle openers and let's go Brandon grenade shaped bottle openers and giant bullet bottle openers with former President Trump on them. So you might know Mr. Crane from that, but you also might not know Mr. Crane from all that because he is a relatively new face. And while already well-known members of this group of 20 representatives like Matt Gates and Lauren Boebert have become the faces of this little insurgency, what about the rest of the folks in this posse? Take, for instance, freshman Florida Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna. I'm Anna Paulina Luna. Unlike the crooks in Congress, I'm not going to lie to your face and tell you what you want to hear. Now, despite Luna's claims of not saying things that are convenient, things that uh, people want to hear, some of Mrs. Luna's biography appears, well, fairly convenient. As the Tampa Bay Times puts it, much about Luna is new, including her last name and her residence in St. Petersburg. It coincides with her decision to challenge Representative Charlie Crist. Now, today, Anna Paulina Luna <clears throat> is a right-wing media superstar. Right-wing media is trying to brand her as the conservative AOC. Conservatives are literally trying to make calling Luna APL a thing. But as the Tampa Bay Times points out, a lot of APL's persona is new. Not too long ago, her name was Anna Paulina Meyerhofer, and she was a self-described avid supporter of Barack Obama. In a 2017 interview about her then-modeling career, Luna described her job <clears throat> by saying, I'm able to take on different personalities depending on what image I'm going for. I think getting into character of what you are selling is super important. Okay. While there isn't an ideology that unifies this band of 20 Republicans, there really does seem to be a common thread of branding here, of self-promotion. <clears throat> we have yet to see an issue or a policy animate this group of people, but we have seen that all of them are very into being the rebels here and very much enjoy being in the spotlight and would like to ensure that spotlight stays on them and their insurgency. It's good for their brand. It gets them on more far-right TV shows. It raises them more money. It probably moves more grenade-shaped Let's Go Brandon bottle openers. But what does that mean for how this ends? How do you negotiate with a group whose only priority seems to be themselves?